Hey everybody. I want to thank everybody for their birthday wishes. Um, it started out last night at 12.30 with just a piece of cake and a candle and me thanking God for another day of life. The next morning I put on a nice shirt, went to Denny's. They turned me down because they don't take IDs anymore on your birthday for free breakfast. So I posted on Facebook because I was a little upset. And a friend of mine, Gil Ortiz, came to my rescue and said, Come on by. I'd like to give you a gift of a few bucks to go get yourself some breakfast. It's not like that I'm poor because I'm not. Uh, I just knew that I was going to get a free breakfast and because I do it every year. It's like clockwork. I'm always at Denny's and it's what I always do. So I go over to his place and he says, have a great birthday. And he says, go on out there and get yourself something to eat. And I, I went to Mickey D's and boy, did I overdo it. Big breakfast that they have, the big breakfast and an egg burrito. I picked my daughter up around, I think it was eight or so, and she, she gets me a water burger and she says happy birthday. I, I got happy birthdays from folks. I didn't know how the day was gonna go. Then we had some chaos, some chaos here at the house. I have a few issues here of, uh, on a friend of ours that does a lot of favors for us, and uh, which I won't go into who got turned away. Uh, my wife is, very, is, is ill right now, as you all know, and we're all praying for her to get better from her stroke that she had. Prayers to her. And uh, as I was praying here in the room and taking a hot bath and saying my prayers, even when I take a bath, I say prayers. It all started on the on the retreats that I went to with Juan Scott. Uh, ever since I've been on those three retreats, he's always been there for me, in and out of my life. He just shows up whenever something goes wrong. It's like he's the shepherd, and I'm the lost sheep. God communicates with him after what we went through in those retreats, the Holy Spirit three of them, learning about God and, and getting close with those brothers and bonding and ever since then it's like God says, hey, Juan, shepherd, go to that lost sheep because he needs you right now. And whenever the chips are down, there, here comes, here comes Juan, man. Here comes Juan comes over and, and, and with his wonderful wife and family and brings me a birthday gift got some shirts and most of all something I did not expect a guitar Electric, acoustic. And it's not it's not the gifts. It's it's the Holy Spirit that speaks to him and says, Go go to that lost sheep over there and tell him that I still love him. And he does it through him. He channels through this wonderful man. He was there for me, I don't know, it was five years ago or less when my car broke down uh, and I needed an alternator and I, I needed, uh, and I was a water pump and he came with his wife and he installed it for me. He took apart the radiator, he put in a radiator for me. It was a radiator and a water pump and he put it in. Him and his wife worked as a team and they worked on my car and I'm sitting back and I'm blown away. I'm going, wow, 
Is this what God's kingdom is about? Because I want it. I want to be a part of it. And it was after that he invited me to a retreat. And I've gone on three of them. I'm looking forward to going on another one. One of these days. It's like the Holy Spirit just... Once you have it, once you once you take in God in your heart, once you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior in your life, He leads you to these godly people that look after you. God chose one Scott as a shepherd to look after me. Me. But sometimes I think I don't deserve it. But then I think, well, this is, this is, it's not the fact that he's there and he, he, he gives you a gift when he sees you and he comes with gifts and good tidings like, like the three kings that came to Jesus when he was born with myrrh and gold and silver. He's showing the love of Christ in his heart and saying, hey, here I am just like Jesus. Here I am with the teachings of Christ. Here I am with the love of God. I'm passing on that I'm giving you and when he does see certain things for me he opens up my eyes and he makes me understand that God leading him to me the lost sheep he's leading the shepherd to gather the lost sheep and that is me which tells me how much God it shows me how much God loves me and even like Gil Artis, a friend of mine over 20 years, he's always been there for me too. And uh, God picks certain people in your life and speaks to their heart and says, go to the lost sheep, go and find him. But Juan, One seems to always pop up because the Lord sends them to me when the chips are down. When the chips are down, there he is. And I am grateful. Eternally grateful for God be to bless such a man to be in my life. And I'm not trying to kiss ass or anything like that. It's just this is all happening to me and it's like wow God is just he's just hitting my heart and he's letting me know that the shepherd that I sent the shepherd to gather you my son and I want to thank even Mark Weber Years back, helped me out with a battery. I want to thank you if you happen to stumble upon this video. God, once you accept Jesus Christ in your heart, God will put a shepherd to come to your need when you least expect it. Even, and he knows I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner like everybody else. I sin. I do wrong. Not extremely wrong, but we all have our little sins th throughout the day. But God continues to show His love. He continues to show me His love, and He chooses certain people, certain shepherds, to go out and do it and to gather the sheep. And I am grateful that God has sent such a man to be in my life I don't know what to say I don't know what to say he just keeps pouring out his love for me he keeps showing me the love of Christ he keeps pouring it out to me and right now this family needs it more than ever Thank you, Juan Scott.
Thank you, Gail Ortiz. Michael Broken Duck Creek. I wish I could say thank you to another person out there, but who refused to pay me for a gig. But I love you anyways. Maybe one day you'll come around and you'll pay me. I won't mention your name because I don't want to discredit you. But people will find out who you are eventually. You can't go on fooling everybody because sooner or later people will catch on. I thought I could show my love to a certain young man. I knew, I know his, his, the bad things that he does. I know about his past. I was hoping I could change a young man that I know who's in the music business and show him the love of God. But he's showing me something that hurt, but I'll get over it. I still love him anyways. And I won't give up on that young man. Just like Juan Scott hasn't given up on me. Because we're all bonded with Jesus Christ. We're all one family. Thank you, Juan, for the gifts that you've given me tonight for my birthday. I didn't know how it was going to go. You know, when you're old and you're old and you're 62 years old, you don't have birthdays anymore. It's just you lay back and you enjoy your family. And Thank you and thank all the people that have said happy birthday. Thank you, my daughters that have called. Thank you, my brother Rick in Florida. that have sent his birthday wishes. And that's all I want to say. Not much else I can say right now. Thank you, Juan, for leading me to Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit. I've already been led to the teachings of Jesus Christ in 1980 up to now. Jaden is still here, my grandson. Being a bad boy right now. His grandma, his grandma is disciplining him. I think, I think Jaden is what keeps his grandma going. Anyway, thank you, everybody. I don't know what else to say. Thank you most of all, Juan Scott, because you're one hell of a great man. <laughs>